a little cool out there right. so you can pretend Christmas is on the <laughs> way. First alert meteorologist Ella Dorsey is here. It is one of those mornings where things are a bit cool, but it's quite nice. Oh, it's beautiful outside right now, but we're going to see changes this afternoon and it's going to be quite breezy. Live look at Centennial Olympic Park. Uh, it's not too breezy right now. You can see some of the flags blowing, but that wind is really going to start to pick up. We're sitting at 55 degrees. Look, that breeze coming in from the east, from Cannes to Gainesville to Rome, your wind speed's now picking up. We're looking at gusts up to 30 miles per hour this afternoon. At noon, it's sunny. It's only 61 degrees, though. Yesterday at noon, we're sitting at 70. You'll notice by 3 p.m., it's overcast, so you're going to see a quick spread in of clouds through the early afternoon. Our temperatures top out in the mid 60s, so most of the afternoon and evening will be in the 50s. Here's a snapshot of 3 p.m. Kids are getting out of school today. It is cloudy, it's dry. It will stay mostly dry through the time you eat dinner tonight. But when you're headed to bed, especially in West Georgia, you're probably gonna hear some rain on the rooftop. That rain spreads in just before midnight, continues widespread through the overnight hours. Looking at tomorrow, by the time you get on the roads tomorrow, 8 a.m., most of the heaviest rain has moved out. We're still seeing widespread showers tomorrow, so it's not going to be a washout, but it is going to be a chilly, wet morning, and you want to add extra time just because we haven't driven in rain in over a month and a half. Incredible. 40s tomorrow, even after the rain moves out, check out these temperatures, especially in northeast Georgia. That wedge of cool air is in place. You don't even really make it into the mid-50s. Areas like Gainesville, Blairsville, Athens are going to sit right around 50 tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, look at LaGrange. LaGrange could hit 70, so there'll be a large gradient in temperatures through the afternoon. But for Metro Atlanta, I don't think we're going to make it out of the 50s. It will be a chilly day even after that rain moves out around noon. Temperatures stay in the 50s through the afternoon tomorrow. In terms of how much beneficial rain, here are the latest totals. Widespread areas getting about a half of an inch to more than a half an inch of rain. The further north you live, the more rain you're going to get. Canton almost an inch of rain. Rome to LJ and areas northwest that are actually under a drought going to get the most rain. Over an inch of rain. That is very beneficial. Much needed rain on the way. And it completely moves out for the weekend, guys. Look at how beautiful this weekend will be. We'll start each morning Saturday, Sunday with chilly morning lows in the low 40s across Metro Atlanta. So if you have early plans this weekend, just know it is going to be chilly, but the afternoons will be mild and beautiful with temperatures near 70 degrees. So we stay in the 70s for the first couple days next week, but Tuesday, a very strong cold front comes in. I think it's going to bring some areas their first chance at a freeze. You'll need your winter coat by the end of next week. First Lord Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi is here now. Courtney, this weekend mm -hmm. in Athens, it's oh a blackout boy. game in Sanford Stadium. If you're going to the game, the weather's going to be perfect. You're urged to wear black to beat the Vols. Oh, man, that's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a real tough that's one. Good. We need our offense to actually play. You know, so I have a cousin who goes to UT, and she has just been on me, like, all week. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? We'll see. All right, let's take you to I-75.